Senator De Natale. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, my question is for the Minister representing the Minister for Climate Change, Senator Wong. Senator, with the Labor Green Alliance's carbon tax now responsible for the death of Fairfax, can the government produce modelling to prove that the carbon tax did not cause or contribute to Victoria's earthquake on Tuesday evening? <laughs> Furthermore, what do you have to say to those people who suffered distress and damage in the Victorian earthquake? And will you guarantee there will be no further earthquakes in Victoria following the carbon tax? Well, order. The, the question is to the minister. The question is to the Minister for Climate Change and Energy Efficiency. The Minister representing that Minister can only answer the question in so much as the question applies to the portfolio. The Minister. Thank, thank, thank you, uh, uh, Mr President, uh, and thank you to uh, the Senator for the question. Uh, well, uh, on a serious note first, uh, obviously uh, uh, any uh, natural disaster is something uh, to be concerned about. Uh, and uh, I. Uh, I'm sure that uh, well, uh, well, and I'm sure that uh, all of us uh, are pleased that uh, it was uh, there was not more significant uh, damage or, or, or uh, any uh, concerns as a result of the earthquake. Um, I have to say, uh, if I close my eyes, though, uh, when asking when the question was being asked by Senator Di Natale, I almost thought it could have been Senator Bernardi. <laughs> Apologies for that, Senator Di Natale, and I can confirm. I can confirm. Uh, that the carbon price was not responsible for the 2005 ashes loss, and I can confirm that the carbon price will not have an effect on whether or not uh, Port, Port Power are able to beat the cats on July 1st. Um, Senator De Natale. Uh, I refer the minister to a recent episode of MasterChef on the 25th of May, where Julia, a legal secretary from Queensland, made a panna cotta which failed to set. Is the minister aware that every significant stage of the panna cotta production chain from milk to sugar will be impacted by the carbon tax? And will the government ensure the carbon tax does not cause such culinary tragedies in the future? Again, the minister can only answer that question in so much as it pertains to the portfolio. The minister. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, uh, I, I have a confession to make that I've never actually been able to make a panna cotta set. So, uh, and I can't blame anybody for that uh, before or after the carbon tax, and I don't suspect that the introduction of the carbon tax will improve or worsen that situation at all, Mr President. I can confirm to the Senate that panna cottas indeed are safe uh, after the carbon tax uh, starts. Senator De Natale. Thank you, Minister. Now, with the carbon tax inflicting such damage on our economy, an economy which is the strongest in the OECD, with low inflation, unemployment of 5%, low interest rates, why is the government introducing a carbon tax with Australia on the verge of a recession? Point of order. Uh, Senator Birmingham. Mr President. Mr President. Order. On, on my right. Order. 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 Well, just wait a minute, Senator Birmingham. Sure. You're entitled to be heard in silence. Now, when there is silence, we'll proceed. Senator Birmingham. Mr. President, it's a very simple point of order. I draw your attention to Standing Order 73, which states that questions shall not contain, at point F, ironical expressions. Now, unless, of course, Senator Di Natale means the statements that he is making, uh, I suspect his questions have been full of ironical expressions. Um, there's, there's, look, there's no, no point of order. I, no, look, at, order. Look.
Just, just one minute. Senator De Natale. Uh, uh, Mr. President, I simply point out there is no uh, more or less irony than in the statement that the carbon tax was, was responsible for the death of Fairfax. <laughs> I've order. 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 I'll give I'll give you the opportunity to rephrase the question. I'm giving you the opportunity to rephrase the question. Okay. Um, th thank you, Mr. President. Now, with the, with the uh, carbon tax inflicting serious damage on our economy, uh, I'd just like to point out it is an economy with, uh, with uh, low inflation and unemployment at 5 per cent, with low interest rates. Uh, why is the government introducing a carbon tax at the best possible time? The other minister. Well, thank you, Mr. President, uh, and uh, I think I think I might uh, uh, leave the list of things that we know the carbon price is not responsible for. Uh, but um, I, I would say this: uh, we we do know that the economy is in a period of uh, substantial change, but we also know we also know. Actually, I'll take that interjection from Senator Brandis because the only person who said people have had never had it so good was former Prime Minister Howard. So, uh, if you have a concern about that, Senator Brandis, I suggest you go and give former Prime Minister Howard a call rather than throwing it at us. What we will say is this is an economy that is in a period uh, Senator, of change. Senator Wong, just resume your seat. Now, when there is silence, we'll proceed. Senator Wong. Senator Wong, continue. Thank you, Mr. President. I, I would make the point that I've made before. This is a, an economy that's in a period of change because of what's occurring in the global economy, but it is an economy that is performing very well. Uh, we have uh, strong growth, we have low unemployment, we have contained inflation. Uh, and we have falling interest rates. Uh, and, uh, it is always easy to put off reforms, uh, but it is no longer appropriate Order. and no longer reasonable Time for us to continue expired. to put off carbon. Time. Order. <laughs>